Oh, well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Alvandis here with a random battleground for you guys. Well, this is me and uh, Infamous Sin, uh, my buddy there from the ICC video. And uh, we're going ahead to right now, wait away, Cap Farm. Or, not Farm. <laughs> Sorry. Cap Mines. And um, basically, I'm the only one that stays back. Um, there is a person that stays back with me, but. Uh, Really not too, too much of a, uh, a fun game. I basically stay back here and defend, and I don't usually just do a video where I'm defending. But I want to get this importance of defending it to people. And, uh, just, you know, how it works. So, defending a flag is really, really easy. Um... Especially in this one, three to a flag, unless they zerg, you're not going to really need too, too many people there. Uh, now, this whole battleground is one big zerg, and uh, that's what sucks. But, um, we've got the, I think that's a holy pally? I think that's a holy, or a rat pally, I think. I think we've got a rat pally here with us, and to, uh, it's actually my mistake, uh, Sin is not actually in this one. Uh, the Holy Pally runs off. I am a f undergeared Frost Death Knight alone at the farm. I keep calling it farm. Alone at the mines. And uh, unfortunately I don't have eyes in the back of my head. So looking around, uh, if I take my eyes off of one spot, another spot can be open and then so on and so forth. I'm trying to look around here to see if I can uh, possibly, you know see an incoming and then call it out because if I call it out then we're gonna have people come here and help me defend and we'll win now I'm seeing traps thrown out and I don't know if that's a friendly trap or not uh, we have an incoming coming from the back and then an incoming coming from the front here uh, I hit that trap by accident so it was an enemy trap and there's a rogue uh, I wanted to waste that rogue as fast as possible because uh, the rogue does do a lot of um, output for damage. So he got shit on there for a second. Um, the rogue, I wasn't. After I fought the rogue, I wasn't worried about him. Uh, that was a friendly hunter, so I guess I was mistaken. And what I don't want to see is I don't want to see a warrior come down here right now because warriors are the class I'm weak against, uh, warriors and hunters I'm weak against, like, immensely, I, I don't, I have no way to really deter a hunter, and warriors, I guess I can chain some ice them and keep them, uh, slowed, and try to give them stuns, I, I'm a torn, so I do have the racial stun, and that's really good. Uh, the only problem there is, is um, if I waste that stun when I need it again, uh, I'm done. Um, Death Knights really don't have a stun. I can pull him closer to me with my death grip, but then again, I don't want the warrior close to me, because if the warrior gets close to me, I'm done. Uh, so now we're basically halfway through the game. Uh, I've defended it. I've defended this place. Basically by myself, except for when an actual incoming comes. And I do believe there's one coming here soon. We've captured the waterworks. And, uh... I do not believe this is a 3-cap right now, but it's a 2-cap. And, actually, no, it is a... It's a, it's 3-cap right now. So we're 3-capping this place. Um... My hope is that no one comes around, because if they come around, I'm screwed, if, especially if they have a Zerg uh, with them. Uh, but I'm keeping the D&D &D on the flag, make sure no rogues get near the flag. Um, I keep seeing that hunter do a trap, and it, uh, it freaks me out, because I think it's a different hunter. Like I think it's a bad hunter. But anyway, we've got, uh, we got the battle won, uh, and there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.